Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Oh, I've got a Christmas build to do, which is exciting because I love Christmas builds. Okay, so this Christmas tree was a gift with purchase just recently from the Lego shop. And so it means it's not something you can actually buy, but I'm pretty sure, look how tall it is. So it's going to be 22 centimeters tall. That's cool. So it's not one you can buy, but it doesn't have strange pieces in it. So it doesn't have unique pieces that you're not going to be able to just find in your collection. So maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to make your own Christmas tree if you don't have this set. And it looks so cool because it's supposed to turn. So let's uh, let's get started. We've got, this is not a Christmas tree, this is a present! Yay! So we're going to build a few little presents to go underneath it first. So we've got a blue one so far. Now we have got the yellow and green stripey one with the, oh, stripey, well, not stripey, it's got a ribbon around it. It's got, it's green present with white ribbon. Tell me, have I ever seen those gold flowers before? Because I'm not sure that I have. So maybe there are some currently exclusive things to this set. We've definitely had green flowers, but that gold one, I don't know whether I've seen that before. Not that it matters if you're building your own. You just put whatever sort of little flower you want on the top as a little bow for the ribbon. So now we get to do the base. So the decorative base for the Christmas tree, and it has to be gorgeous because it looks like it's going to be like those really big fancy Christmas trees that you see in the middle of the shopping center or in the middle of a, you know, fancy big park. And it, oh, this is the turny part. So it's going to turn and this is going to, these looks like, well, these looks like, <laughs> this, that looks like it's not even good English. These look like they're going to fill those rounding gaps, but oh, okay. So we now... I don't know quite what's going on because we need to build some more and find out what's happening. We've got some technique pieces here with some decorative stars on them. Cool. We're going to matching one now for the other side. That's lovely. A very, very pretty smooth bottom for the Christmas tree. We've got some candy canes to go up the side and we need four of these. So let's, let's build these a little bit faster. They're all exactly the same and they go on either side. There we go. It's looking so Christmassy and festive already. Though I'm not certain what the side bits are for, but it will all become clear as we keep building. Okay, so now we've got another another base plate. And this one is getting a whole heap of little black dots on it. Got white white circle in the middle and a nice smoothed out section in the middle and some why on earth do we have these sand green colored cones here? That's not very Christmassy. Let's keep building and see what these are actually going to be. Oh, I just figured it out. Sometimes I can be very slow. So the sand green things, the little cones are trees, like little pine trees. And this here is, it's a little train. And these are the stations, the brown ones are the stations for them to stop at. And they don't actually go, well, they don't physically go around. The whole plate, this whole base plate here will spin. This is so cool. It's going to spin on top of this one. So when you turn it, it looks like the trains are going round and round and round. They're never going to quite reach the station. <laughs> They'll always be just leaving the station, which is cool. They'll always have somewhere to go. Okay, that's really, really cute. So going around the bottom of the tree is are a couple of train sets. <laughs> a little scene that's really adorable. Okay, time for the Christmas tree itself. We have got, we're going to need a lot of these branches and it'll be interesting to see how one differentiates from another and how it's gonna obviously have to get smaller as it gets towards the top. So let me concentrate, make sure I'm putting these on in the right place at the right time. And uh, we got these little corner pieces here. Nice, and then we've got another one of these little, well, a few of these pretty little gold flowers. And they're actually the Christmas tree decorations. These are gonna hold this in nice and securely. And then it sits up on the little gold circle. And I don't know what these brown studs are for. They might just be part of the trunk. Oh, and some lovely festive Christmas baubles to go on it as well. Okay, so let's install this this is our first level of the Christmas tree, and I, I, yeah, I have to actually anchor that down. Right, we're up to bag number two. There are actually 
Uh, well, there's a lot of green in bag number two, it was, but we, we are going to need a massive big trunk. So let's get this trunk happening, which is got, why does it have some yellow in there? Just to add a bit of color into the tree trunk. I don't mind. I think it looks lovely. I'll be interested to see where the branches go around that yellow. Might be like a bit of tinsel actually twirled around the trunk, all the way into the trunk of the tree. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's build another layer of branches for our gorgeous Christmas tree. So this looks similar to the one that we've already done. It's got, it's got some more little baubles. Same thing, same thing with the... Oh, I didn't pay attention to what those little brown studs are for. We're putting them on here. To, oh, that's it. So that's the little brown studs are what actually seat the next layer down onto. That's what you seat the next layer down onto. So that's where you press it down and it actually holds on there. Okay, next layer looking similar, but are we getting smaller yet? I don't know that I've paid enough attention. I don't think we're, I don't think we're quite, we're, we're incrementally, incrementally getting smaller. Got more of those little brown studs so we can layer the next layer on. Oh, and we get some gems this time to go with our Christmas baubles. Oh, that's lovely. So they haven't actually got smaller yet. They're all the same design so far. They've just got different baubles on them. Now I think we might be starting to get a bit smaller, starting to, yeah, yeah starting to, to, to peek up towards the top, towards the, <gasps> towards the Christmas star. Wonder how this set does Christmas star. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's keep building branches in the meantime, making sure I'm putting things in the right place because this is definitely smaller. And we need more of these little brown studs. That way we can connect the next set of branches, some more baubles and some more gems. And it's looking so, so, so pretty. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so gorgeous. All right, our Christmas tree is creeping up and our next layer of branches is getting ready to go on. This is quite soothing building in green and building a similar pattern each time around. But now I have to make sure I concentrate because it might be similar. Uh, yeah, actually, this is the same as the previous set of branches. We just get, do we get different baubles on the top? Let's find out because the rest is the same. We need, of course, we need our little brown studs. They're very important. And we've got some more. Oh, all right, so we're alternating the gems and the baubles, and this one's going to go up here. Oh, this is exciting. Actually, did you notice that the yellow part of the trunk down low, it seems to be completely covered with the branches. So that's interesting. Just Lego likes to shove some bright colors in where they don't actually get seen later. Just to mix it up, keep it interesting for everyone. Now, this is different. We are making a different layer of branches. Got some silver swirlies there, some chrome swirlies, and some gold smooth circle-y thing on the top because I've lost the ability to describe things with actual words that make sense. So pretty sure you'll figure out what I'm talking about when you look at it. And this here is, I think, is this the same? Got our next light. No, it's not. Okay, so we are actually filling in the middle of this. So we must have hit the top. More little chrome swirlies, more beautiful gems. It's the same size as the previous one and it turns. So this is the one that turns our little train set down the bottom. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so if we've hit the top, we haven't hit the tippity tip top because the tippity tip top needs a star. And we have not hit the star yet. Actually, we don't want to hit the star. We just want to put the star on the tree because hitting the star would be mean. No, oh, he's our star. It's a snowflake star. And it's got an actual literal star on it as well. That's absolutely the prettiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that might be overselling it a little bit, but it's really gorgeous. It's so Christmassy. And I've got to tell you, for a free gift with purchase, I am thrilled. We've got some presents to pop under it. And I think I could add this to the gingerbread house. It will be the most festive and happy scene ever. And the girls are definitely going to be hanging out here and putting all their Christmas presents under this tree. In fact, they might actually end up claiming the Christmas tree for their own. Who knows? They get up to all sorts of mischief when I'm not looking. All right. Christmas is getting so close. I've got some more Christmas builds to do. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. And I will see you with a new video very, very soon. <laughs> Merry Christmas.